Surviving McMaster. I'm your host, Steven. Now, if, you, if this is the first time watching Surviving McMaster, we have had our contestants each competing in three rounds pre previously, and we are now in the final rounds of this competition. All these comp competitors are competing to win the title of the Sustainable Student. Now, let's go back to our contestants to see how they are doing. Hi. Uh, I'm a good student making good notes in every class, but when I decided to make a change and save some papers, I had to think. Um, instead of printing out one-sided, I had to think before twice or even three times and make it double-sided, and I had to go to the library and use um, course reserve textbook. Um, it's kind of it takes time, but you can still do it. Instead, paper is good. So, uh, I've been trying to be all sustainable and stuff, and I've been trying to cut down on my carbon emissions. So, I thought I'd carpool with this bunch of students from Guelph, because I live in Guelph, but it's turning out to be the biggest nightmare of my life. I mean, I'm stuck in this car with these nerds and these geeks and people with oil in their hair. And I, I don't fit in this crowd. I don't wake up early in the morning. I don't go to sleep early at night. I mean, this is hell for me. Hey guys, it's week two of my sustainability project and I'm in day three so far. I haven't taken a shower in three days and my hair is really greasy. I'm, I'm sure Assad has mentioned my hair and... Oh, but you, you know what? I'm doing this for sustainability. And Mohammed, you are going down. Right. Things have been kind of tight lately. I mean, I had no idea organic food would have cost that much. I mean, $9 for milk. I had to sell my Leafs jersey. My wallet's been empty. Uh, I did try to make friends with a couple of hobos, you know, maybe, you know, in a couple of weeks. Might be there. Wait, there's a cash prize, right? I think I need to make a phone call. So to be more sustainable, I decided to cut down on my water intake, both indirect and direct water use. So I just recently found out that the production in the production of chicken products, beef products, and all these meat items, a lot of water goes into the whole process. And it's a big problem because I love my meat. So I asked around what else can I eat? If I can't eat meat, what can I eat then? People said I could eat vegetables. What the hell are vegetables? Welcome to the final round of the competition. Here are the five remaining contestants. Mohammed. Asif. Arthi. Everdeen. Minji. We also have one remaining contestant, but sadly she is in isolation. Hey guys, well, isolation has probably got to be the worst thing that could have happened to me at this point in the game. I don't have access to a kitchen, so I can't cook, so I can't reduce my plastics, and I'm stuck getting takeout all the time. There are critters crawling all over me like this one. Hey. And now I'm gonna lose the game, so I hope you guys are happy, especially you, Muhammad, you shape. And so we have seen Natalie in isolation. Her fate is still questionable. But she doesn't matter. What does matter is that last week's votes are now in. So let's see who you decide to keep in the game. Ibrahim, you're safe. Minji, unfortunately, the viewers have kept you in. Arthi, you're safe. <laughs> Muhammad, please step forward. Asif, please step forward. Both of you have been great competitors in, in this game. But sadly, one of you guys must leave. Asif, You are safe. Sorry, Mohammed. 
you have been eliminated from competition. It's been great having you, man. Thanks for having me. Hey, everyone, good luck. Make sure you close that door, right? Well, I'm out. I tried honestly to do my best, but what can you do? Using less water wasn't too bad, though. Um, it wasn't as hard as I thought it would be. I actually uh, felt a little bit happier using less water trying to help, the, help out the environment try to give back. And also, the things actually worked out well. I was, filling out, I was filling out my water bottle the other day and I met this really cute girl. Got her number, everything's going well now. So congratulations to you four for staying in the competition. And now with Muhammad out of the game, you guys are presented with a unique opportunity. With Nile in isolation, you guys now have the choice to keep her in the game or take her out. Nile. You have one minute on the clock to convince your four competitors as to why you should be kept in the game. Hey guys, so while I've been rotting away, I've actually had a chance to compile some data and I'm pretty sure I'm going to win. I don't want to get too ahead of myself, but I'm pretty sure it's going to happen. So nice try, Mohammed, and the rest of you guys, but I got this. So I've been keeping track for two weeks and I've been able to reduce my carbon footprint by, I'd say, about 55%. So some things that I did was uh, limit the use of plastic bags and I would cook my own food in bulk. I would bring uh, my own Tupperware to restaurants for leftovers and I would always carry my own utensils with me. So the vote's up to you guys, but I'm pretty sure we all know who the obvious choice is. And so competitors, you have seen Natalie's plea. You now have the chance to vote on whether or not to keep her in the game or take her out. It's been a hard choice. but. I have to vote Natalie out. Me too. Natalie should be out. Um, I vote her out too. I vote him out. What? And so, you the viewers have seen Mohammed and Natalie be taken out of the game. So tune in next week to Survivor McMaster. Same time, same channel, to see who will be the most sustainable student. <laughs> Well, thank you for watching Survivor McMaster Edition. Here are some tips on how you can be sustainable. Tip number one, reduce your intake of grain products. As well, eat less meat and preferably convert to vegetarianism, as a lot of water goes into the production of meat products. For example, the global average water footprint of a chicken egg is 3,300 cubic tons. Tip number two, to conserve water, Leave the tap off when possible. For example, turn the tap off when brushing your teeth and washing dishes. According to Statistics Canada, each household wastes on average of 118,000 liters of water per year. Tip number one. Think before you print or copy and use both sides of the paper. As a first step, Find out if your office equipment can do double-sided printing and copies and set it as the default option. Tip number two, use recycled paper products whenever possible. Recycled paper can use up to 50% less energy in manufacture than virgin paper. Tip number three, and for university students, get a library card and use course reserve textbooks or buy used textbooks. So here are some tips for reducing your emissions through food. Number one, buy locally grown food as it has a lower footprint associated with transport. Number two, buy in-season food as it's less likely to be associated with warehouse freezers and does, once again, lower footprint. Finally, red meat and dairy products are the highest contributors to CO2 emissions due to the high grain diet that's fed to the cows. So avoid cheese products and switch to a white meat diet. This will significantly reduce your footprints and Studies have shown that people who adopt a, more, a, a diet consisting of white meat live longer, healthier lives. Here are a couple of ways to reduce your carbon emissions and be more sustainable. Try and use public transportation. Ride a bike. It's not only healthy, it's cost efficient too. And carpool whenever you can. According to the American Public Transportation Association, public transportation in the U.S. saves approximately 1.4 billion gallons of gasoline and about 1.5 million tons of carbon dioxide annually. So carpool, use public transportation, or just ride a bike or walk.